Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I'm mainly handling missions to Jewel related to our lathe space plane. This is a fuel transfer vehicle that is supposed to help our space plane refuel around Jewel and we are doing a mid-course adjustment. So the first thing we're going to do is three mid-course adjustments and these are to help these guys get into a proper position around Jewel because right now the inclination is bad. Let's see now. We wanted that in count. That's probably too precise from here. I always plot more precise maneuvers than I can actually accomplish. Oh, look, there's a Leif encounter and a Val encounter, but getting into orbit is more important. That looks reasonably flat right now. We will leave that as is for the time being and see if we need to touch it up when we get into Joule SOI but this field transfer vehicle is good it's got comms but we're not at Joule distance yet we're still just over here at Dres distance all right next okay well the space plane has to do much the same maneuver but we're a day early so just getting into recharging position the space plane has a rover inside. That should be interesting if we use that. We have to make sure to get to a biome that has a leaf stone. And I really, really need to remember that. Okay, going. Uh, well, that's a leaf assisted capture, but it's awkward. Oh, that's worse. Okay, well, we'll have a maneuver when we get there. To fix that. Right now it's too touchy for the cheetahs. Okay, I think we're gonna need to correct the inclination right now. It doesn't look like doing it once we get into Jewel SOI is really working out very well. Okay, well I can't seem to get it perfectly flat with respect to the Jewel system, but I've got it reasonable. I mean it's coming in like this. I can't figure out why I can't get it up there. Uh, but let me do this 0.5 meter per second correction. You can see it's still very sensitive as uh, our actual orbit bends as I turn. Oh, oh, no, nah, it doesn't look like it's ending up right. Hmm. And this doesn't have RCS. I could probably do thrust limiting, but anyway, we're basically all over the place since as I turn it does weird things. So. We'll just wait till we get there, even though it looks like that's harder to manage the inclination as we are in the dual system, even if we're far out. But yeah, we'll see. Something will be done, I'm not entirely sure. But at least we're currently slamming into Leif, so... Good luck, Flong. Next! This has the heaviest load, it's carrying the fuel already, whereas the other fuel transfer vehicle is empty and would pick up the fuel from Paul. Well, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted. Oh, inclination is a little bit off. Not as bad as the space plane, but still not ideal. But this, I think, will be capturing directly into orbit around Lathe, so let's just check how that is. It won't cost too much, I don't think. Yeah. We've got it, I mean, and we'll have the, the rest of the fuels locked, so that 1700 meters per second is without this locked fuel that needs to be transferred to the space plane. So we'll be all right there, maybe. All right, to the tracking station, and we will monitor which one gets into Jewel SOI first, just so we can do some touch-up maneuver, maybe. Okay, so we have the space plane in Jewel SOI right now. It was the first to arrive. And I've plotted a minor adjustment to get us a better position around Lathe, but we can't just manually capture with our Delta V right now. So I might want to dip into Lathe's atmosphere to error break a bit, but that could be dangerous. So that's a pickle. <laughs> do, we, do we want to strand our Kerbal? But there's a possibility that I could reduce the amount of delta V necessary to uh, make orbit around Lathe 
if we just uh, boost up our periapsis after passing Leif, Leif is going to capture us into orbit around Joule. After passing Leif, we could boost our periapsis up to create a tangency over here, and then maybe uh, then the capture around Leif will cost less. But it's not letting me plot that right now. So let's do this first maneuver and see what the result is, and then maybe we'll have a better situation. I am going to need to turn for power. But the safety of air braking depends on the speed that we're coming in at, and our speed relative to Leif might be quite high. I just have bad flashbacks of trying to air brake at EVE with a space plane. Of course, EVE is a different situation, but... Okay, so if we're like that... Uh, that's a 1.6 degree inclination difference, but still... Oh, it's still not showing stuff. See, the problem is it's refusing to show me... Uh, there definitely would be some sort of late, late encounter eventually. Oh, that's a Val encounter. It's happy with that. But it, oh, the, there's a late encounter. Okay. 20 days. Well, I guess that's something. Checking the required biomes. Is either Crater Island Shores or Dunes? And I figure... Sure, it should be doable, but I can't even see. There's an island there, but I mean, there should be a lot of shores, right? Okay, so that's a 472 meter per second thing, but and it's, it's being dodgy here. But if we combine those, that 472 plus that seven, uh, plus that uh, 213, that's less than how much delta V we've got. So this plan works out barely, barely. We're not going to have a lot of margin there. Well, we'll go with that plan. And, but for now, we can't follow this into late because we need to see what to do with the other two. But since we have a plan with this, we'll be able to make sure that the fully fueled tanker can get to the right position in Leif to meet up with this. Okay, so with the completely full fuel tanker, we are now in dual SOI as well. And it, I think instead of trying to get into orbit around Leif directly, we'll do the same thing I had planned with the space plane and boost its periapsis and maybe that'll cost a little bit less. Not that this is tight on Delta V unlike the space plane, but yeah. So first this correction though, to make sure that we're equatorial, otherwise Meeting up with Leif on a second pass will be more difficult because we'll have more inclination around Joule, and that will make it harder to hit Leif. Not super hard, but just harder. Okay, well, this should be close enough. Okay, that adjustment looks good. Okay, so this has a safe periapsis. And then after we do that, we will raise our orbit. Okay, there's a lathe encounter again. And by the curvature of the orbit, you can tell it's pretty close to capturing right there. But we better make sure that we're going in the same direction as a space plane. Otherwise, that would not be good. But tentatively, we're looking at you know, just about... What is that? 500, let's say call it 550 meters per second to capture, so not bad at all. Okay, so this has got that stuff going for it. And I have to go back to the tracking station. Right now, there's a Spirit of Jin, there's Fuel Transfer Vehicle J, and there's another Fuel Transfer Vehicle J. There's Jewel, and there's Lathe. That's a really hard terminator, terminator right there. Okay, and we've been flung off again. And now we are in Julian orbit. And after seven days, we'll encounter Leith again. But that needs to happen with a maneuver. Okay, now the trick with this refueler is it needs to get over to Paul. It doesn't want to get into orbit around Leith. We are passing by Leith. But we need to pass by Leith in a way that gets us to Paul. So we've got three days until the SOI change, and we'll follow it in. 
and let's see if we can manage something useful. We could also do with a equatorial orbit of Val, since we have the gravioli detector. We'll see which one is easier to hit. Um, let's make a correction. There's finicky stuff. This isn't the main mission. With the previous missions, we got a Val encounter pretty easily. Let's see if we can get down to Val level without crashing into Lathe. Okay, does that get us crashing into Lathe? Not yet, actually, and that's almost a tangency with Val. Well, we'll have something possible there, so let's do this very, very, very tiny adjustment. Okay, now we're not... I don't know, sometimes it shows a secondary leaf encounter that'll have us crashing, sometimes it doesn't. So that makes me nervous. I'll just put a note over there and figure it out after we pass by Lathe. It's not telling me the whole truth right now. Okay, back to tracking station. Okay, well, the thing about Space planes is inevitably your tightest delta V margins are gonna be with the space plane, and that is true here. Let's hope that the plots were correct and go. We've got 471. It was, it's not telling me the truth about how much delta V we're we're carrying. We actually had more. Unless it's not telling me the truth now, it's so hard to figure out when it's lying to me about my delta v. But okay, um, that'll be a capture around Lathe. So that's in 10 hours from the look of things. And now, so we're like that, and all right. What the heck is going on? Oh, waterfall. I haven't seen this dialogue before. What is it doing? No, apparently it's doing something. I don't know what, what that's all about. Okay. Waterfall is strange to me. Oh, there's the little old driller probe. Well, the little uh, leaf probe that splashed down. Hmm. Well, it's in the water, so not worthwhile trying to pick it up or anything or scrap it for parts I mean Falong is an engineer it would be possible but yeah the uh, Kerbals aren't the greatest swimmers it seems like we get much lower than initially plotted yeah it's just messing with me as far as my Delta V can I say? I'll get it into the triple digit kilometers on the apoapsis. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Should be easy enough for something else to rendezvous with it. Uh, we are going counterclockwise. Okay, let's keep that in mind for the mission that's coming in right now. Oh, okay. We seem to be going around the right way for meeting up with the Spirit Gen just with this plot, so that shouldn't be too bad. Not really that far away either. Um, well, there's a tentative encounter. Looks like we've got a refueling solution. Oh, okay. 18 kilometers is a pretty big gap, and this is not the place to fix it. We'd have to do that up there. There we go. That's a better gap. Okay. So let's get this over there. There's Jewel. Initial flyby of Lathe. And go. Well, even with the stylized plumes, the four nuclear engines do look good. All right, looking good, looking good. And I think the other one is still far enough out. I don't know, they get really fast when they get close to Jewel. 
but anyway it's all set up anyway it should just be flying by lathe and getting into an automatic orbit we do have to worry about comms with this but our line is line back is going out that way we'll see what that means practically speaking um we're coming around this way so it should be safe uh, we'll be making our burn here so that will be in line of sight with Kerbin and I really don't want it there uh, burn well it's subtly a little bit off it looks like but we'll just adjust that here I'd like to get the rendezvous over here because we'll have more time with communications. And again, the space plane can't do the rendezvous. It has no mod propellant or RCS. The tanker ahead for Paul and bringing back fuel will be able to refuel the space plane after its mission on Leif, which will allow the space plane to go back to Kerbin. No, stop. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait and helped out the situation uh, nope that's not the nope that's not the axis either there we go I've got the right docking port selected right we've got two of them on here after all oh turns out I didn't oh we're a little bit askew but I think magnetism will handle that well, it's getting there, it's getting there. Still not docked. Oh, ah, there we go. All right, we are docked. And let us transfer fuel. And we will include the liquid fuel tanks this time because this is for getting off of lathe. We're hoping not to use a whole lot of propellant to get to the surface of lathe. But I'm gonna leave Flong and the fuel for now. I'm going to focus on the other tanker that's coming in and get at least to Val orbit before getting this to the surface of lathe. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so here's the Paul bound fuel transfer vehicle on its way into lathe for the swing by. Leaf casting a shadow on Jewel there. This has tons of Delta V. Oh, well, I mean, not a Paul bound at the moment. We're going to Val first. So, passing by. And now we have a Val tangent sort of orbit. And let's see if we can get any idea of where we'll meet up with Val. Now, well, that's a messy Val encounter, but since I can't get much else, at least that has the benefit of probably not taking much once we get there. Let's see, we want an equatorial orbit going around that ways. This seems, well, let's fine tune it a bit, but it seems like it compatible with that idea all right and if we capture that doesn't take too much and in a minor inclination difference okay so that's the plan and again the other two vessels are safely in orbit around lathe so we'll just proceed okay here we go can we take care of this contract? Okay, and go. Oh, there we go. The designated orbit is confirmed, maintaining stability. And we're done with that one. Okay, uh, is there any actual gravioli readings we haven't done at Val here? Ah, uh, yeah, we can transmit. Well, we're recharging right now, so let's try it. 
Uh, okay, it says done. All right, it was really close though. Okay, we'll wait on sending this to Paul. Let's go back to space plane and finally do that piece of the puzzle. Landing the space plane. Oh, I'll just go with map view. Landing the space plane on lathe. Yep, this is this is going to be fun. We have to do it properly here. Okay, so we need to hit shore. I'm just going to go for shores. Well, right now it's hard to see anything because Jewel is blocking the sun. Okay. So, yeah, no, back over here. Planning. Well, I periapsis is over here, and I'd rather have lace air break us. There's not a whole lot of land underneath our orbit. Well, right here. And if we could land over here, I can barely see anything. You know what? Uh, maybe we should dip our. Whoops. Let's decouple and dip our orbit right into there, and maybe that's the best way to go. I don't know. It's a good question. Okay, well, we're going to need this guy to back off for us. Again. The space plane does not have RCS. Okay, we are on the rocket engines, which is what we need to deorbit. I don't know what, what will work. Hmm, I've only done this once before with a space plane. It was this space plane, but it was in the 1.8 series. And I didn't actually watch this part. I only watched a part. I reviewed the part where this got to orbit to see how exactly I did that. But I, uh, I did not see the whole lathe entry bit. And in a way, I guess it's for the best. <laughs> In another way, I sort of wish I did. Okay, well, 12 kilometers should get us a lot of drag. Well, maybe not. I mean, we, we want to hit the shore over here. Hmm. We could. Do we have brakes? We have brakes, right? Yeah, we have brakes. We have air brakes. But that's not a whole lot of time in the atmosphere. Oh, let's just go down a little bit more. We're starting off from very high up. And in the atmosphere we won't be using the cheetahs. We'll get the whiplashes ready. But we really, really don't want to use them. Okay, ready for lathe entry. Let's get some drag going here. Is it Rotated a lot. Um, I can't even see the land because of the. Oh, well, it's right there. This land. There's our periapsis. Periapsis already going up because of the lift we're getting now. Ooh. Okay. There's some heating. There's much heating. Oh, oh, oh no, it's going sideways. It's going sideways. No! Bad space plane. Um, air brakes? <laughs> Just for the heat, I don't want to be going fast and flopping at the same time. Okay, well, this seem it seems necessary for me to take some control here. Ah, uh, what could be going wrong here? Maybe I should have had a pilot. Oh gosh, our balance is that bad? Try to keep the balance roughly the same as on Kerbin. Oh, we're gonna be in big trouble. That was a lot of drag. Am I gonna have another Kerbal to rescue from Leith at this rate? Okay, well we've got some aerodynamics here now, but we're a long way off from where we wanted to be. So that periapsis was too severe. We're we're here. It'd be better to divert over here if we can get there, or over down there. Wow, look at the 
speed we lose. It might be safer just to get to orbit and try a different attempt. That looks like a bumpy island though. Well, we're skating right along. Rendezvous is going to be tough. Well, I guess we'll have the fuel transfer vehicle help out with rendezvous. Just sort of glide in, hopefully. I don't know, we lose speed so quickly. Will there be shores? Will there be dunes? I don't know. Even if we did an EVA uh, in space to try and identify the locations, it's tough. I hope everything close to the water counts as a shore. This is a hefty beast fully laden in Leif's thinner atmosphere. But yeah, we're losing speed too much. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Deploying landing gear. On the bright side, I guess we can leave the rover on the ground. We don't need to pick that back up again. So that's a little bit of mass that we get to leave behind. Do they look like dunes to you? Those look like dunes to me. Oh my gosh, it's, uh, it's not easy picking a landing location here. The landing speed is likely to be higher here than on Kerbin because of the thinner atmosphere. I'm getting lag. I don't want lag right now. Why are you lagging game? This doesn't look like shores though. If it's highlands I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, come on, don't bounce. You're heavy. Stop. Stop being silly. Oh, oh, not like that. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. We've lost things. Parachute, parachute. Oh, no, it's a down, it's a severe downslope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this was bad. Why couldn't it have been f nice and flat and... That parachute is not doing anything, nor are my... nor are my brakes. Well, Flong's an engineer. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna help too much, is it? Well, down there looks a little bit flatter. Maybe we can slow down there at least. I hope we don't end up in the water. Uh, Flong is increasingly looking like she's going to need a rescue. Why Why are dunes so slick? Oh, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm trying to turn it sideways so it doesn't keep rolling like this. Oh, and maybe if we, like, well, there was a rock there. Can Flong, like, pick up the wing pieces? And the engines, maybe? Okay. Oh god, no. Uh, keep the brakes on, definitely. Hmm. Alright, um... Can we at least get the rock? I saw... I saw a possibility back there. Okay, going down. Oh, why why is that rolling? Uh, hopefully that's just momentum from Flong. Okay. Oh gosh, the plane is moving. No, no, stop. Oh, no. We we don't have control without Flong in there. Stop. Okay. Okay, Flong. Uh, there was one stone somewhere there. There, can you see it? Okay. There's like nothing else around here. Hopefully it's just not terrain scatter. Nope. Well, it's climbable, so... Well, take surface sample. Yeah, let's keep 
um, EVA report keep mm, she can stand on it uh, pick up life stone okay keep right so we have the life stone so we must must rescue Flong at some point I'll get Flong back into the plane uh, I don't know if the plane is going to... I mean, on the one hand, if we rock it up the slope... <laughs> uh, this might be this might be an occasion where I need to quick save for once. I don't quick save and quick load if you haven't already noticed. But maybe we'll... I'll, I'll get your thoughts on this, whether I should for once try a quick save and quick load attempt at solving this problem we could take I think she can take off the wing pieces right not carry them but take them off with the construction mode and then we'll be balanced and then we have the rocket engines and we just need to rocket up to orbit potentially but I don't know if we have enough Delta V for that on the bright side we'll have less mass without the wing pieces <laughs> and the rover when we dump that i'll keep the rover in there for now until i think of something just in case if it turns out that we want to just send a rescue craft the rover would be a good thing to have with flong so that flong can get to whatever rescue craft we send probably we're going to be sending it without a kerbal or a rover so Oh, it's rolling again. Nope, nope. Get on there. Stop it. Forward. Okay, it's still sort of sliding. It'll eventually end up in the water. Okay, but we can go to the tracking station and space center, so it's slow enough that we can just halt it right there for now. It's actually losing power right there. Okay, so with that dubious situation, and having to deal with that now. This was supposed to be the plane that rescued Kerbals from Lathe. Not the plane that condemned a Kerbal to Lathe. But yes, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, especially as far as rescuing our Kerbal off of Lathe, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.